Hey guys, it's Naya with Adrenaline Volleyball, and today we're here to talk about Bailey Warner, one of the top outside hitters at Houston Skyline 16's Volleyball. Standing at 5'10", Bailey has a high vertical, a cannon of an arm, and a fast transition. Stay tuned to hear us talk about her recruitment process thus far. Yeah, tell me how the recruitment process has been going. I know you guys started on, on June 15th, so it was five days ago. How how has it been going for you? Um, So far, it's been pretty like smooth. I the day of June fifteenth, there was like a whole lot, like just like with the notifications, like emails, texts, and all that type of stuff, and then having to put stuff together and organizing. But overall, it's been going pretty smooth, and it's like enjoyable getting to talk to everybody. So, yeah. So, what coaches? I know you've probably heard from a lot of them because you're one of the top outside hitters in the country. <laughs> what um schools have you heard from? Um, North Carolina or Northern Carolina, um, Arkansas. Uh, Auburn, yeah, those are your top top ones right now. Uh, those are a few of them, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, okay. So during this process, going into it, what was like your 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 process? Like, are you going to reach out to coaches? Are you going to wait for them to reach out to you? How are you going to navigate this this situation? Overall, like uh, a lot of the schools I wanted to hear from reached out to me, so that went pretty well. Yeah. Okay, good. So you said some of the schools reach out to you. Which ones are you mainly focused on right now? Maybe, yeah, Auburn, Arkansas. Thinking more out of state. We want to get out of Texas. We want to try something different. Uh, yes, ma'am. So I just like to mix it up, I guess. And just like, cause I've been here my whole life, basically. So like, just to obviously try something different. I can always come back. Do you have a preference of conference that you would want to play in or play for? Um, not really. I think if it's just like where I want to be then. Have you set up visits or anything like that? Not yet. Cause I know it's like, I think visits started in August. Mm -hmm. I think so like kind of around like my school season, but like, so I'll definitely be going to some then, but I haven't talked too, too much about going to places. I don't like trying to do like camps. And, like then I get to see a little bit of the campus, but mm -hmm. I definitely would like to do like visits and all that type of thing. So I watched some of your film. And you're 5'10", correct? I think at 5'10", I was watching some of your film that you have up on your huddle. Um, mm -hmm. And you have a, a pretty high vertical. Would you say so yourself? Yes. I, yes. <laughs> I think I realized that, like, last season, because, like, more people, like, I guess kind of pointed it out. And I was like, oh, like, thanks, I guess, you know. But yeah. I think it's pretty, like, pretty good. I still want to hire it. But... What things do you look forward to most in picking a university? Like, what are your qualifications? I think, like, academics is really important because like after I'm done playing volleyball like I have to get my life started too so mm -hmm. I think academics um good like team chemistry is like a big thing mm -hmm. and the uh, culture and stuff like that and then like relationships between coaches and players like honest and, like just being able to trust like my coach you know mm -hmm. that they have like my best interests and then um probably like location just because like I want to have stuff to do you know like not while I'm not playing volleyball like when I'm with like my friends or something like that so just like getting to enjoy the area itself so I think those are like pretty much all of them. So what do you think sets you apart from other outside hitters that you're going to be competing against in the future and that you're currently competing against now? Like since I'm like on the smaller like undersized like mm -hmm. side I guess you could say I feel like I'm really smart, like, on the court, and I kind of, like, make a presence, if that makes sense. So. No, that definitely makes sense. Because when I'm watching your film, it looks like you've mastered hitting off a of high hand. And that's, like, really fr really frustrating because I'm a middle blocker. And I'm like, I was there. <laughs> Why am I not here right. to block? But it's definitely <laughs> a skill that you have to perfect and that it seems like you're already starting to get the hang of since you know you are an undersized hitter, that that's going to be something that you can take into your co mm -hmm. um, collegiate career. The last question is... So you said that you're not really trying to rush the process, but is there a time frame that you would like to commit by? I want to do it by before the end of my junior year, not too late in like 2024. So like okay. maybe this semester or like somewhere next semester, but hopefully by like school season or Christmas ish. So, so excited for you and I wish you the best of luck. Mm -hmm. And I know your future is going to be super bright. Thank you.